Hello there. Oh, I can't see you over there. Let me just move some of this here. There we go, much better. Hello there. Uh, as you can see, I bought some manga this month. Please send help. What is up human beings? Welcome back to the manga slot. We got another manga haul today. It is huge, my goodness. There is just so much mongers. So we got a lot to get through, but like always, make sure you check out Right Stuff Anime. They're having a ton of deals all the time and different sales and promotions. Down in the description is my affiliate link. It helps out the channel because it helps out you. As always, all proceeds go back into the channel and all to the people. And if you like my videos, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and come check me out on Discord. I'm always on, always chatting with people, and I'd love to see you there. So now I'm going to bring you in for the close-up and we're gonna do the manga haul and also if you ever want to hear anything else about any manga I show let me know down in the comments and I will respond to you and let you know what you want to know okay here we are close manga hand time manga sloth hand cam everybody's favorite make sure you let me know if you like this format of manga reviews where things are right in front of your face or if you want something different with me on screen or something. This way, it just feels more natural to me. It allows me to get through things a little quicker while giving everybody a close up. All right, so first we're gonna knock out like 70 volumes. I'm not even joking when I say that. All right, so here is the first chunk. Hope everyone can see these all right. We are showing off the 70 plus manga dollar blind boxes from Right Stuff that we got this month. Here is one chunk here. We got two more chunks to show. Here is the second chunk and while you take a look at all these titles I'm gonna answer a question or two. I get a lot of questions when I do the blind box openings and I get these and people ask, what am I doing with these? Am I just letting them build up? Am I getting rid of them? Am I burning them? Well, I am giving them away and I'm selling them. Most of these things will go up for sale for cheap and then they'll also be given away uh, in different things, you know, over the course of the next year plus or something like that. Now these ones here are some that I picked out of the 70 plus that I'm going to keep. Right here we got a, ch a big chunk of manga and I'm going to be keeping these. And uh, just like the other chunks, I'm not going to just show the fronts and backs of them. We don't got time for that. A lot of these have dings, dents, scratches. And uh, uh, some of these things are things that I've been wanting to pick up more of and try to get into. Right here just shows that doing the blind boxes can stink sometimes because my last one, I bought 50 and I think I want to keep maybe like three or four things or less from the whole lot now from this lot we got all of these and then there's you know there possibly could be some more so it was pretty good so that so that concludes the 70 plus manga I got from the blind boxes this month all right here we go starting off strong with mobile suit Gundam Thunderbolt this is number 16 what a super awesome series great volume this month this series and I'm gonna to say it till the day I die is not just for people who like robots or mecha that's just a bonus having giant space battles that are better than a lot of shonen main battles this series is awesome and for anyone next up we got I was reincarnated as a villainous volume one and before we get into what this is look at this spine holy smokes that is an ugly spine Tokyo pop holy crap that is so ugly my goodness is that just me that can't be just me that is ugly what is going on here yikes tokyo pop get it together for once in your life wife picked up this series and uh, she doesn't have a ton of izakais but uh, this is one and uh, she enjoyed it speaking of izakai i picked up a new one uh, my status as an assassin obviously exceeds the heroes volume one i read this one thought it was pretty good next we got two and three of the giant spider and me what a awesome series super cute down to earth 
makes you feel good and you really really enjoy it the only bummer is there's only three volumes and that's complete at three and you're gonna wish that you had more got a bit of a chunk here we got a uh, little Gundam chunk that I'm just gonna show you and go through real quick this was given to me by someone in my discord named Chris and if you are in my discord you will see him and know him super awesome dude and he knew that I like Gundams and that I had some of the old Gundam volumes that I used to have and he decided to let me have all these oldies that he had and I am very appreciative of that because these are super cool. Another oldie but a goodie is a Kuro Zakuro number four and five. I'm just picking these up slowly, one at a time. I'd like to get the whole lot of these eventually. Next we got Otaku Elf number two. Funny series, still early stages. We got Mashal number two. This is still okay. Definitely just okay, but uh, a good okay. A Kuma 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 Bear number five. Man, I, I just, I just really did not think I would like this series as much as I do. It's, it's like an isekai, but it's just so calming. I mean, you read this, you know, when you just want to relax. You know, you want to read something before you go to bed. I don't know. It's just so nice. <laughs> It's crazy. Here's another series I just did not think I was gonna like. Uh, this is Cirque de Freak Volume 3. Uh, volume 1 was just decent. It wasn't dragging me in enough that I was just like dropping everything and wanting to read it, but it, but it held me on. And then number 2 and 3, I'm just, I just feel invested. I feel invested in the characters and I want to see what the heck is going on. I'm really enjoying it so far. Now we're gonna take an intermission and show you some not manga this is anime that I got from the blind boxes and I've just they've been sitting here and I forgot to show them these are ones that I got from the manga sloth code free code on right stuff I got all this manga for free I do not know what to do with it so I will probably be giving this away, chucking it in if I ever sell anything or giveaways or something. I just forgot to show you all that uh, I got these from the $10 free blind boxes with uh, my manga sloth code. Next I got Stargazing Dog and this is a single volume and all, all in one story. People this, this is really sad. It. Uh, it's one of the sadder things that I've ever read and it just it'll mean more to you if you have an animal or you have a dog especially uh, very sad um, very good story but uh, very sad but good story <laughs> here we got a chunk of oldies but goodies we got peacemaker one through four and I do have number five I just do not know where I placed it at the moment. So I have one through five, and then I got Peacemaker, Karagane, one through three. And this is the one, this chunk is the one that's not complete in English. The one through five of this is complete in English. The wife used to have these a long time ago, and uh, she got rid of them, and now she got them back. And she read them and enjoyed them. Speaking of some oldies but goodies, we got Gunslinger Girl Volume 4 and 5. Found these in a store for cheap and decided to pick them up. I like Gunslinger Girl and I hope that someday I can have the complete collection in omnibus form, preferably, or singles. I'm also fine with singles, but uh, it's just tough. It's tough to find them, and when you do find them, you have to remortgage your house and your neighbor's house just to get a copy. So it's kind of ridiculous. All right, I got a I'm Standing on a Million Lives, Volume 1. Tried this out. Uh, I thought it was okay. I will most likely give my longer opinion on this in a reading log. Rising of the Shield Hero, Volume 16. 16 volumes of these. That's crazy. Definitely one of the best Isekais I've ever read and a lot of people would agree with me on that. Very good. 
super enjoying it. Need more volumes a lot faster. Here's one we don't get to see too often. Black Butler, number 30. Look at that, that's pretty cool. You got triple X on the side, XXX. You got number 30 of this. Still ongoing. Uh, it felt like for a long time we weren't going to reach volume 30. Uh, not because it wasn't coming out, uh, just because it felt like 27 to 30 was like five years. And uh, it might have been. <laughs> I wasn't keeping track. All right, here's Ragna Crimson volume three. I, uh, I'm really enjoying the covers of these. They look, they look pretty cool. And uh, the art in here is good also. And this one uh, really... This volume really turned up the heat. So if you're on the fence with Ragna Crimson, my opinion is volume one is okay. Uh, nothing to write home about. Volume two is Dees. You might write a note to a friend. And volume three is you are filling out a postcard and potentially sending it home because it just keeps getting better. Now here is Golden Kamui number 23. Series is awesome and still going strong and still very good so don't listen to the prom g because he is wrong and it is good <laughs> asadora number three lot of threes asadora has these bright vibrant colors we got like a teal and yellow in this one really really like that looks awesome and uh and uh we know you're asawa it is good and it's getting better next we got my hero academia volume one that's right volume one the start of the series i can't wait to figure out what the hype is all about that is not true i own all of my hero academia that is out this is a scholastic volume one so it's just uh, the same as volume one but obviously it has a different cover it'll look like i have two volume ones but they both are different it's like a promotional one here's another new series berserk of gluttony i got volume one volume dose and volume trace I kind of have seen this on the shelf for a long time and I always pick up volume one and maybe skim through it and look at it and then I put it back. Well I finally bought it and after reading volume one I went and grabbed volume two and three and read them and uh, I really like it. Alright here is a girl without a face. Another thing that I've picked up like 50 times and just never bought. I don't know if anybody else is like me. Sometimes when I see one shots like this, this is a one shot, it kind of doesn't get me going. I kind of don't it could be great, but it kind of makes me feel like uh, I kind of don't want it or I can wait till later to get it or something. That's sort of what happened with this, but I did end up buying it and me and the wife read it and uh, we both enjoyed it. It was actually not what I thought it was going to be. And if you want to know more about it, make sure you check out my manga reading log coming soon to the Manga Sloth channel near you. And there's Peacemaker number five, which I talked about earlier. It was at the bottom of a stack of manga. Must have got misplaced. So we have all five of those. Woo, we got some good stuff coming. Land of the Lustrous, volume 11. Ooh, baby, look at this cover and back cover. My goodness. What a awesome series. And what an insane cover this is. Completely awesome. Keeping on the awesomeness, we got the Fist of the North Star Volume 2. I'm loving these blood, little blood splats. How they connect on the spines. What a good volume. It's just fun. It's just fun. You know, it's not the... It's not the best writing. It's not the best story. It's just fun cover to cover. You just read it and you're excited to read it. You know, it's just just action packed and you just don't you just don't know what's going to happen. And it's crazy. Uh, really happy that they brought this back. So a lot more people, uh, especially like me, can be able to read and enjoy this series. Here is the Ancient Magus Bride Wizards Blue. A This is Volume 3, a side world story in the Ancient Magus Bride world. Uh, wife enjoys this one. Got Love and Focus Volume 3, and that completes Love and Focus. Only three volumes. Wife said she thinks this could have went on 
easily, you know, farther. You know, not that it needs to go to 50 or something, but it could have easily went to 6, 8, 10, something. Just uh, three volumes, huh? Here's a series we don't want to end too soon. B-Stars. This is volume 14. We got a Nene on the front. His name is Nene, and his catchphrase is he is Nene, and he goes bananas. That is true, and don't look it up. Next up, we got the Sacrificial Princess and the King of Beasts, 11, 12, and 13. And there's a platypus. This series is surprisingly uh, coming to an end. I don't know what volume it's ending on. I know 14's out. I think I have 14 pre-ordered. But uh, I did not know this was coming to an end soon. So that is a bumski. Sorry, folks. Please cover your eyes. This is a novel. Wamp, wamp, wamp. And for your manga lovers, it has one page of manga right there and another page right there. So manga people can get two pages of enjoyment out of this. People who read novels can get multiple pages out of this. My wife really enjoyed the manga of this series, but it's been stuck at volume two for a long time and it does not look like they're going to be continuing it in the manga, but it is complete in the novels with six of these volumes and it's really popular. So I think she's going to uh, read it in the novel form, starting with number one. Next up, you know what these are, if you're a Manga Sloth fan. Earlier in September, me and HVL Manga, another awesome manga tuber, did a manga swap giveaway extravaganza. And these are the volumes that she got me, all volumes ones. Kaiji number one, Master Keaton volume one. This is just, it's hard to see on camera, but this Master Keaton is sick. Yawamushi Petal number one. I hope that someday I can read this in person and uh, if they ever print a volume three. But Yen Press is, with lack of a better term, jerks and they won't print anymore. We got Noragami number one, Requiem of the Rose King volume one, and The Breaker volume one. Awesome, awesome. If you want, make sure you go check out those two videos in the series because it was super duper cool and it was cool to see her reaction and my reaction to opening these awesome manga that we did not know about. Okay, we got uh, The Little Boy That Lives in a Toilet, Volume 2 and 3. I believe that's how you say the title of this manga. I have five plus of these. I've read one through three and uh, like many people I'm stuck on volume four. Uh, it's nowhere to be found. What a random volume that can't be found. I just don't feel like paying a ton of money for Toilet Bound because it's just not the best series I've ever read. It's good but it's just not one of those series that I want to dump money into getting a volume. So I'm just waiting around till I get it. And here is Drifting Dragon 6 seven and eight man these these covers look like Miyazaki paintings or like a DVD cover or something they look completely sick and awesome and they feel great I don't know if you can hear that like matte finishing and the artwork in these is spectacular because this artist knows how to shade and shade with cross hatching and all the great kinds of shading, which we love to see. The wife is reading this series and she loves it. And here we got One Piece 96 and 97, inching closer to the hundo. One Piece is great. Uh, not much, uh, not much to say about it. It's the goat for a reason. Make sure you go to Old McDonald's Farm and pet this beautiful goat and tell him he's doing a great job. Got some wife books here. Love Me, Love Me Not 10, A Perfect World 7, and Snow White with Red Hair 15. All ongoing all really good and these are just ones that just don't last i mean they they enter the house like i say and they get read very quickly she loves these series and this month i got her the rest of of tokyo tarariba girls if i'm saying that correctly and i probably am not these spines look great this is made by the uh creator of princess jellyfish if you didn't already know, it definitely looks like her style, because it is. 
and also blank canvas another manga series this is complete now it was complete at nine volumes maybe it's just me but it feels like things just never complete at nine volumes that seems like a weird number i could be wrong also continuing full metal alchemist this is number 14 there you go these are completely great. These hardcovers, we love them. We all love them. They look great on the shelf. They're great. Last but not least, we got for the kid I saw in my dreams, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Number six is out. I just don't have it yet. I've been reading these and I'm enjoying them. Nice hard covers, and uh, this is holding me off until I can get the rest of Erased. Need that volume three that I can't find. So thank you all for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel so much. I love talking to all of you in the comments. I do my best. You can check my videos. I do my best to talk to each and every one of you. If you take the time and effort to reach out to me and talk to me on my discord or in my comments or anywhere i always always do my best to talk to you and let you know what's up because i care about all of you that you take the time and effort to talk to a crazy sloth on the internet so i appreciate that thank you all for watching let me know down in the comments what you got this month if you got anything this month if you didn't get anything this month if you read anything this month if you did anything on the planet earth this month let me know thank you all for watching and i'll see you all next time